another adventure to a beautiful morning starts here. Oh, look at the conditions. Unreal. Time to get in the water. Yeah. <laughs> but uh squid, buddies, anything that bites. Got our brand new sounder right here. How awesome are all those colours? Nice and bright. Should be good. It's just loading up now. Just keep it on traditional. And we are off. Let's go, guys. A few boats out today. A couple guys snorkeling, spear fishing. The water's very clear. And hopefully, we're going to have a nice day out in the water. So, as you can see, guys, I'm fully set up today. We've got a sounder, our brand new Garmin Eco Map. Perfect for the kayak. This one here, look at that. See that nice detail. You can see all that weed bed and that drop off right here. See that sand hole? Just mark that just there. And with Luke, just over there. Now I think that the tides are incoming at the moment, so it is going to be pumping a little bit, but it's just starting. So we might have a probably 10 minutes or so to chase some squid, and then we'll get into some fish. So as you can see, guys, the conditions are unreal. Glass out. It does supposed to pick up later today, but for now, it is stunning. So. Let's get some baits in the water and some lures in the water and let's get into some fish. All right, we've got some swimmers behind us. It's all, all happening today, but what do you expect? It's just stunning condition, so let everyone get out there and enjoy it. So we're gonna start off for some squid. Just got a, a white jig on from Inku. And uh, it's not pulling too, hump, too much the current in here, so we'll give it a good crack. Whip that out there. See if we can get some fresh bait, I guess. Put my glasses on. Whatever you do, Luke, don't put your hand in the water. Look how many tiny jellyfish there are. And look at all those stingers. They're so small, but they've got some mean stingers on them. So that's where we want to fish, just that five meter mark, just around that five meter mark. And uh, the water's that clear, and the water's 13 degrees, so that's pretty good a couple weeks ago is about 10 degrees so it is coming up and uh before we know it soon we're going to get some snapper too i'm on guys we've got a squid on we've just moved up up from these boats and literally as soon as it hit that weed bed we got one on he's not a monster but it's still a nice little squid now don't want to get stung by these jellyfish there we go look at that nice little squid also known as a southern calamari how awesome is that little thing now i can tell you one thing the body's going to be good eating and the tentacles are going to be good bait we left a bit of slime on the hooks there so just whack it like that that slime's come off now I've drifted a little bit because of the tide, so I'm just going to go up again. Boat's moving in too. And boot it straight in there again. Normally if there's one, there's more. So all I want to do is just let that jig sink down. A few little hops with the rod, that jig will just go like that in the water column. And that triggers a squid out of those weed beds to in, uh, entice that squid jig. What I like to do too, is when it gets close to the kayak, one really, really fast, and then just let it sink down slowly next to the kayak, just to see if there's any squid following it. But nothing. Now, especially on a kayak, and just running a single 12 volt battery. Um, so you're not relying on the engines to charge a battery like a boat. So on the kayak, when I'm not using the sounder, like when I'm squid fishing, you just turn it off. All I want to use it for 
when I'm squid fishing is finding the depth and some nice weed beds and some sand holes. And once I find that, turn it off. And then when I want to go to a new spot, just turn it back on um, and away we go again. Now you can see I'm in a perfect area because on this side, I've got sand. On this side, I've got weed. And we've got the ground. So what we want to do when you get the ground is don't just pull because what that does is just dig the hooks in even deeper. So what you want to do, just keep a little bit of tension on while you go towards the jig. This is if you're on a boat or a kayak, of course. Now go around it. Oh, this is thick weed, so it might be a bit tough getting it out, but we'll try anyway. All right, we're getting closer. You should be able to see the jig shortly. Oh, yep, yeah, you can see the jig. So I'm just going to come over it the, the opposite way. And there we go. And that is what we're dealing with. Take that off, and away we go. While my squid rod's drifting away, I might as well convert this fresh squid into the best eating fish you can get in the bay. The mighty King George Whiting. So, gonna pull that big tentacle like that and just gonna cut it into little bits because it's so tender you just hook it through once the whiting will just go suck it straight in and that's all you need to do and they cannot resist the fresh squid flick this one out there and we'll put it in the holder tide is starting to pick up now so soon we'll probably just have to stick with a bit of bait fishing see how we go how clear is the water we're just going to have a cast in here for a little worm soft plastic see what we can manage oh wow got a fish on and he put me in the weed of course he did. Do you reckon I should open the bail arm? Yeah, he got me in there good, didn't he? Wow, he, he got me good in there, didn't he? Move this rod right over here. And we're popped. Hooked up to a squid. an arrow squid actually got him and he just came out as well Luke's just back from the, uh, the edge of the channel there and he got a arrow squid so this is a bit different to the southern calamari this one is an aggressive bugger and they're called arrows because of that you can see the arrow on him come on open the flap you can kind of tell anyway. There we go. Also good bait. Just paddling up to something. There's something out of the water. I don't know what it is. We'll go and have a look. Oh, it's those, it's two cowfish. Look at that. See if I can scoop it. I got him. Look at that. That should go, buddy. All right, guys, so now we're going for some whiting. I'm anchored next to Luke. He's actually on right now. Some whiting. Nice whiting. Nice King George, that one there. Oh, my rod's going too. Yep, I'm on. I just threw that in. Oh, we're on a good patch here. Look, is there any burly in? So a little bit of burly, but hopefully I've got a whiting on too. Yeah, just hit the water. Yep, and it's a whiting. Nice school-sized fish too. Look at that. 
That is a big whiting. Beautiful King George whiting on the fresh squid. How good's that? We're gonna quickly bait up, chuck it back in. Alrighty, so another fresh piece of squid. Just like that. Flick it in there. Put it in the holder. Oh yep, it's gonna go. There we go, we're on. Good fish this one. Good fish. I've just put the other rod in too. So we've got two rods going and I've just taken the squid jig out because these are beautiful. Whoa, these are really good whiting. I think this one might be even bigger than the other one. Oh, it's a beast. It's a beast, this one. Oh my God, have you seen the size of this thing? <laughs> it is huge, guys. I'm leaving the hook in it to show you because I don't want this one going anywhere. Have a go at this. Have a go at that for King George Whiting. That is probably a 40 centimeter one right there. Absolute tank of one. And Luke's on. Come on, I've got to undo this tangle. Tangle, tangle, tangle. Alrighty, bait it all back up. Whip it in there. Put the rod there. I might recast this one because the hell's on here. What the hell, there's a fish on here. What's a bet? It's a bloody puffer fish because this has just been sitting there the whole time. Wait, what is this thing? It's actually got some go in him. What the hell? Imagine it's a big fuddy just sitting on it. Oh, it's a gurnard. Got a bloody gurnard. Never got a gurnard here before. I'm gonna get bloody spiked by this bloody thing now. Look at that thing. I'm on here. Oh no. Got this fish here. And I've got a whiting on here. Don't come off, mate. Oh my god, it is all happening here, guys. Tied my drag. If the gurner comes off, it comes off, but I want the whiting. Yippa! Alright, well, there's the whiting, guys. Nice one there. I saw a boat's coming, so quickly whack this in here. Alright, that's in there. I'll quickly cast this back out. Same thing's probably going to happen, but anyway, the more whiting the better. Leave that rod there. What we're going to do, hopefully it's tied out a fair bit. The only way to really grab these things, we shouldn't at all, but he's by their mouth. So I'm just going to quickly, without getting spiked, of course. Oh, I've got to do this, guys, so don't, go, don't try this if you're not too confident. There we go. Very big spikes which uh will bring it to hospital and my rod just had a had a good hit there that is a a gurnard that thing there don't want to hold him too long but look at that nasty thing and i had another whiting on so i'm going to quickly take this off and grab that whiting hey luke's got another one how good's that all right so what i'm going to do is just move over closer to luke because there's a good patch there. Another whiting. Oh my gosh. Got him. <laughs> just go over where Luke is now. 
we're on. Finally, we've waited about half an hour for the whiting to rock up and we've got another one on. On the other rod this time. Another good fish by the looks of it. Quickly want to fling this in for this boat sees. Dang. Settle down mate, settle down. And there we have it guys, another beautiful whiting. King George whiting, the best eating fish in the sea. Quickly put this in the bag. Oh, my other rod's going too. Quickly whack that in there. Yep, we're on. Oh, I think it came off. Actually comes back. Yep, there we go. This one's coming straight to the kayak. And we're gonna lift him, and he's another good one. Oh no, he just tangled my other rig. That's what's good of having two rods. All this whiting's going nuts and spraying water everywhere. But what we're gonna do, we'll bait this one back up, like so. And we'll fling this straight out there. Put in the holder, and we'll get this rod back in the water. There we go, another nice whiting. Now with whiting fishing, when they're on the bite, they are on the bite, so you don't want to muck around and you want to get your baits in as soon as you can. Yep, and we've got one on here. Bang, got him on. Such good fun catching the whiting, especially on a kayak, very rewarding. Especially when you catch your own bait, convert it into that, and that is literally the best fish you can eat in Port Phillip Bay, Victoria, and pretty much Australia for, for most of you guys. So, mighty King George Whiting. Spat my bait out, which is good. I'm gonna reuse that and convert it into another whiting. Yep. Yep, we're getting some bites on here. Bang, got him on. Some clouds coming on top of us now. Might be a bit of rain, but that's not going to stop us catching two at once. <laughs> got two whiting at once, guys. Jesus. Luke's on two down there, which is like 30 metres up, so there must be a big school of whiting in. Well, how's that? That's one. Now, these are actually smaller fish uh, compared to the, the ones we got earlier on. So, definitely a different school. And when they're this size here, they're generally school size fish. So these are perfect eating ones. And uh, some more to add to the collection. If a fresh piece of squid makes a difference. One piece of tentacle has probably caught me half a dozen fish. So I'll put a new one on and whack it back in there. While we're waiting for the baits to settle in, what's your favourite fish to eat? Anywhere in Australia, what is your favourite fish to eat? Mine's probably King George Whiting and squid. And up north, I'd probably come beat a fresh piece of barramundi and coral trout. But comment below what your favourite fish is wherever you are in Australia and around the world. Comment down below and we'll uh, see what fish wins. Well, it's starting to spit now. Hopefully it's not going to pour down. It is down there actually. So I'm just going to put our, uh, our rain jacket on just in case. Head and we are all set to embrace a bit of wet weather. What's there? <laughs> oh, look at all those salmon! They're huge! Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat the lure! Oh, wow! They didn't touch it! Yep, got a fish on. Definitely not one of those big salmon, but I do have something on the troll, and it's a big... Are you kidding me? 
Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god. That was on the troll. Oh. We're in shallow water, so this fuddy came straight up for it. Oh, decent sized plastic too. Look at that. Decent sized plastic and he just smashed it. Off you go, mate. Catch up. <laughs> look at this guy, there's a banjo shark over there. I'll get closer to him so we can have a better look at him. Look at him, right underneath the kayak. All right, guys, so we've had a bit of a break. Now it's the afternoon and we're gonna chase some squid again. The tide started to change and uh, that means it's perfect for some squid. So we're just fishing a nice three to four meters in depth and we're gonna chase some squid. And I've just got the white jig on and we'll see if we can get a few. I felt a hit and a squid came and um, followed it up. Got him. Do you have one? Oh, yeah. Not a bad little squid either. On the Inku Gold Runner. Alright, so we're fishing around the three metre mark. Gonna go and cast the jig straight out there. Perfect round, this is exactly what you want. And we are on, guys. We've got a squid on. Turn the kayak around. He's far out because I just casted that. He's a decent one. He's actually a good one. Um, I'll just try and grab him. I only got him one tentacle. Yep, got him. Yes. So he's trying to bite me. But that is what we're after. And we both got a squid. Doesn't get much better than that. You beauty. Fishing really shallow in here. You never know, sometimes they can be riding the shallows. There's a big leather jacket here. There's a big leather jacket here. Watch this, guys. Hopefully it goes for my bait. Just following my squid jig. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there, there we go. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, nearly had him. Come on, take it. We found him, he's on the bait now. Come on, eat it. Oh no, we've got a ras. Stole it off him. No. Get out of here. Hopefully this leather jacket's still here somewhere. We found him again. And we got him. You beauty. Come here, mate. It's not bad either. Well, we got him, guys. Have a look at him. Not bad at all. Now this is what we call a six spine leather jacket. And see the six spines just on the tail there? That gives it its name. And when you clean these guys, the whole actual skin, which is the leather part, comes off in one piece and turns into a jacket. So that's how they're called a, uh, a leather jacket. Great eating these fish, so this one's going in the cooler. Rightio guys, we're going to conclude it here. An epic day out in the water. As you can see in that flag, it is picked up the wind and uh, we're going to call it a session. We got some whiting, we got some squid, but that was really, really good. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Summer's coming, it's just around the corner and so is snapper season. So I'll see you guys there and let's get into a few fish. See you in the next one.